Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod review and today, my god, do we have a treat. We are checking out the mod Project Zeta by the Fried Turkey, HCGX Grill, Xanthier, and Mr. Colonel Mustard. Now, this mod is essentially the Mothership Zeta equivalent of Project Mojave. If you remember Project Mojave, which added in parts of New Vegas into Fallout 4, this mod is going to essentially be a similar sort of mod, but with Mothership Zeta. There's not as much content as there was in Project Mojave, because Project Mojave was absolutely huge, but the stuff included in Project Zeta is awesome. Super incredible. If you were a fan of Mothership Zeta, then you should absolutely download this mod. It adds so much cool new stuff. To start with, this is going to add in two new workshop settlements. So just like Project Mojave, where you had new areas that you can build in, you get new areas to build in in this one as well. And the areas are way more interesting than Project Mojave, I tell you what. You get to build one on a Zayden mothership, and you get to build another one on a biodome on Mars. On top of that, it's going to add a ton of new settlement items for said settlements, and they are really cool. You can add your own little mini biodomes. You can place them anywhere, but they do make a great addition to the Mars settlement, as well as a ton of the alien decorations, my favorite of which being this cool little healing arch, which will heal you and cure your radiation. Pretty awesome. Additionally, there are three new weapons added in this mod that you can find, the Alien Atomizer, the Alien Blaster, and the Alien Shock Baton, and there's also three unique versions of each of those. There is one new outfit, that of course being the spacesuit, which is uh, pretty much to be expected with a mod like this. There is actually a new companion named Roger, who is an alien that will follow you around. Additionally, there are two new enemy types, one of which is the standard alien, pretty similar to the one that we see in vanilla Fallout 4, and an all-new alien known as the Abomination, which is pretty crazy looking. And then finally, one last thing to throw this mod over the edge of awesomeness. Whenever your settlements get attacked, now there is a chance that they will be attacked, or rather invaded, by aliens, which is super cool. Now, all of this stuff is introduced to you via a new quest that will start after level 20. And rather than just explaining it, I'm going to go ahead and show you my first reaction and me actually playing through this mod so you can see what it's like to actually experience this for the first time in case you're not able to play it yourself right now. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and hand this over to Dak from the past to show you how this mod actually works. All right, so I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to leave in the live footage just quite yet, but if I do, I am recording this ahead of time, so everything is going to be completely blind, and I want to see if we can go ahead and start this quest. Now, on the mod page, it says that we need to level up to level 20 in order to start the quest, and that if you are already level 20, you need to gain a level in order for it to trigger. So we're going to go ahead and add a level to ourselves. Uh, I believe that's in game alterations and we'll add a level and see if the quest triggers and there it is extraterrestrial activity investigate chuckles toy store I'm not familiar with that location so I'm assuming it's new I guess we're gonna find out together I should probably activate the quest huh okay so where is chuckles toy store right in the middle by backstreet apparel all right let's go ahead and fast travel over there and see what we can see all right, we should be coming up on it any second here. I'm really, really excited for this. What this mod promises sounds like some really cool stuff. Sort of a smaller scale Project Mojave, but with Mothership Zeta stuff. So excited. Let's go ahead and hop into Chuckles Toy Store here. I'm pretty sure this is a completely new location. All right. Oh yeah, I have, <laughs> this is all new. Look at the, the Dino, the Dino. And Toy Soldiers. Neat stuff. Okay. It is really hazy in here so i think it said on the mod page to go down so we need to see if there's a downstairs maybe a basement of some kind Ooh, there's board games though plutonium dash nuka station seven i'm taking that one that one's mine Ooh, catch the commie that one's mine too there's so many rat poisoning this is cool all right the attention to detail here is really nice. Okay, so up is blocked off. How'd they even get a shopping cart in here? This is not a store where you'd have a cart. I think. It's pretty small. All right. Moving on down. Okay, there's a door. Look at that. You can barely even see it past the haze. That's crazy. Oh, it's really eerie down here. It's a Mr. Handy. 
more shopping carts. Okay. There's a secret button. Okay, so surely... Move that. Hit the call button, and there's an elevator. Let's see where it takes us. I am big excited. Now, it also says that there is a companion in this mod, and I think that's what we're about to find. So, uh... Let's see if he's voiced or not. Search the secret bunker for clues. Okay. I found stim packs. Does that count? Uh, I'm always bad at quest mods when it comes to finding clues, man. Sim settlements too. I mean, you all know what happened to that. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, there's a door here. Look at that. I feel like we're not supposed to see in there. But only like kind of. So it's glowing green. I want a TCL in there so bad. <laughs> I might. All right, let's just go through the main door. Oh yeah, I figured that, you know terminal or something, but no, you just twist it. Let's see. Big reveal. Uh, kinda. Double door. It's a big light. Well, nothing too crazy over here. This place looks awesome, by the way. Like, the world design is really, really cool. Bathroom. I mean, you gotta check, right? Hold on. Stim pack. <laughs> Ooh, another one? Yeah. Man, this place is so cool. All the mist on the floor looks crazy. Oh, the curtains are hard. You can't get through them. Keep following the doors. Here's a rad roach. Uh, little... Supply closet, I guess. Just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Okay. Reactor door? What are they doing in this toy shop? Oh, man. Look at this place. This is some X-Files stuff. I know you're all going to hate me not looking at the alien immediately. Strange alien device inspect. That's probably important. Oh, there's a crashed ship. And some working ships. Where are those going to launch out of? Where is this? <laughs> like, where on the map is this? That's crazy. Alright, let's check out the alien. Oh, it's, it's just a dead alien. He ain't got no clothes. Oh, hold on. Okay, can't activate him. I suppose we should touch the big... The big dealio. Oh, there is another door, though. Now I'm touching it. I don't care. I'm doing it. Strange device seems to be moving. Inspect it further? Absolutely. Oh, God, we're dead. <laughs> oh, no. Where are we going? Oh. Do we have an alien buddy? <laughs> yeah. 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 He said. He said yeah. I hear you, man. Loud and clear. Yeah. Oh God. Not the probe. I don't like the one on the left. Okay. Oh god. They're going at it. Let me out. Kill him. Kick his ass. Ah, 
Okay, you can... You really draw it out, huh? Ah, you got him. Oh! Roger? Oh, like American Dad. Okay, yeah, I got it. Ha. What's up, dude? You're about to dismiss him? No, that's not what I was trying to do. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, talk. No, I don't want to... I don't wanna... Yeah, you said it, man. Okay, he doesn't talk. Can't trade, though. Ooh, look at that. Atomic Pulverizer. So this mod is supposed to come with custom weapons, including three uniques, and I believe this is one of the uniques. Man, it looks cool. Really, really cool. Okay, do I have my gear, at least? Oh, I do. I have all my stuff. All right. Sick. Look at all these dudes. This is straight up Mothership Zeta. This is awesome. So cool. Oh, she got a hat. Oh, can I? Oh, she's dead. Taking the hat. You got anything cool? You got some pretty sick goggles. Sorry. Taking those. <laughs> Uh-oh, spaceman suit. Oh, wait, it said talk a second ago. Uh, oh, well, he's dead. Mine. Uh, You're nothing special. I already got a space suit. Whatever. All right. We're on the mothership. What well, now? We got door that way and door this way. I guess we'll start here. Uh, There's aliens. You guys nice? Oh, you're chilling. <laughs> Yeah, Unginga. You said it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love these dudes, man. Oh, there's so many doors. This place is huge. Oh wait, what's this? Teleport to the bridge. Well, hold on. I want to explore a little. There's so much here. This place is awesome. You kidding me? Look at this place. It's crazy. We got adapted alien bio gel. Like, how could you not want that alien tool? That's a tire iron, bro. What are they kidding me? Like, come on. Bed? This place is awesome. Dude, all the assets. Yeah. I, I hope that wasn't hate speech. I'm sorry. Look at this place, dude. This is so cool. And it's on Xbox. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> Whoa! You guys got Nuka Coli? And automotive parts? I'm guessing this is some sort of a storeroom where they collect artifacts. Still awesome. Dude. Is this a workshop? Can I build here? Oh my god! I can build. You can't build everything, though. It's one of those restricted ones. Dang. Well, here. Put in a bed. Yeah, what are you going to do about it? What are the rooms they got? We got food, alien worm food. Okay, tastes fine to me. This place is crazy. Alien squid food. <laughs> this is so neat. Okay, I guess we should go to the bridge. It doesn't. It just seems like there's a couple of rooms around the edges here. Yeah, so like, that'll take us back to the main area. Oh no, this is new. Oh yeah, we got a Brahmin trough. And some toilets. Okay. Let's go to the bridge. I feel like progression is going to be that way. They said there are new enemy types, so I got to assume... <gasps> Can I get in here? Oh... Doesn't do anything, but I'm in here. You better believe it. Cool. <laughs> Neat. Look at that. All right, let's teleport to the bridge. I'm going to get my gun out. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Yep. Right off the bat. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Murder. Is there more? Oh, nice. You got him. Oh, that was one of the abominations. I didn't get to see what he looked like, Roger. What the hell? Not cool. Alright. Well. 
I want your gun. Wait, it's not a gun, it's a probe dealie, but I still want it. Yeah. Oh, what the? You see that? Oh, it's because he was in the teleporter. Like, standing on this makes him, like, freaky deaky. Do it again. Alright, I guess not. What can we do here? There's a lot of jib jabs and buttons. Oh, there's a blaster! It's mine! It's mine! It's mine! Ah! Oh, baby. Look at it. Captain Sidearm. Increased damage and fires six projectiles. This is one of the uniques. That's awesome. Does it have unique custom animations? Ooh, legendary armor. He's got a hollow key. Blaster rounds, overloaded rounds. Uh, It's an atomizer. Oh, and an outfit. Can I wear the outfit? Probably not. But I'm going to try. <laughs> Hold on. Alien. Where's it at? Wait. It's not here. It's not here. What the heck? Ah, whatever. You do have the atomizer, though. Super cool. So I think the three weapons are the atomizer, um, the generic alien blaster, but this is, you know, the unique one. And there's also the, uh, the batons, which are actually a mod that I think we covered already. Oh, here's one right here. Here's the unique electro suppressor. Has a chance to knock down enemies. Sick. Well, at least we got all the uniques. Let's, uh... Unlock with the captain's hollow key. We can go to Mars. I mean, I kind of already knew that because of the mod description, but still, it's cool. Oh. He said Ginga. Oh. Alien settler? Are you kidding me? That's awesome. And we can teleport back to the bridge with that. Dude, that's so cool. And then this is our workshop, so we have an entire biodome to build Anything we want? Are you kidding me? That's so cool. Yeah, I got you, bro. No joke. This is awesome. Yeah. Like, 100%. I really wish I could have gotten a good look at one of those abominations. Um, yeah. This is wild. Can we scrap this? Oh, we can. And we can scrap the rocks. Dude, this is such a good settlement location. Like, I really like it. I may set up shop here. <laughs> like, this place is awesome. Look at it. It's so cool. But I think that's about everything. We have the two workshops. The one in the main ship. The one here. I don't know how we fast travel to them. Yeah, look at that. We're, like, way off the map somewhere. Okay. Well... Oh, you know what? It's because I have a map mod on. I wonder if it would work. Yeah, because I see a location. You know, that's probably my fault. I'm sure if you have a default map, it looks fine. My bad. But yeah, you have the two main locations. You have the three weapons, which we got a hold of here. Let's actually check them all out really quick. Here's the atomizer. And it has Fallout 3 aim, where you just kind of... Eh. Look at that. Bloop. And then we have Captain Sidearm that we just picked up. Same kind of Fallout 3 aim. Looks really nice. And then... What's the other one? Oh yeah, the melee weapon. Ooh, look it! It's got little bleepy blobbers. Sick. And then we have Roger the Companion. You know, doing his thing. And then I think that's it. The only other thing that is added with this mod is the ability to have... Aliens come and attack your settlements, but I have a feeling I'll do that in the voiceover in the beginning of this video. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. This mod is absolutely awesome. No reason not to check it out. This is incredible. So yeah, guys, that is Project Zeta. This mod is so awesome. If you're a fan of Mothership Zeta DLC or you just like aliens in general or space travel, I would highly recommend this one. It's so cool. You may not consider it lore friendly, but technically Zetans are absolutely a thing in Fallout and this is technically something that could happen. But more than anything, it's just a lot of fun. This game is super old now and adding mods that just make the game more interesting and unique and cool are kind of what this is all about. And this is definitely a unique cool and fun mod. Project Zeta is absolutely incredible work and I highly recommend you check it out. And if you weren't aware, this is the final release on the Capital Wasteland team's roadmap. It was a secret release and by all means, I was not expecting this. This is definitely a wonderful surprise. So, 
go try it out. It's available for PC and Xbox, and I'll have links down in the description below where you can try it out for yourself. Additionally, while you're down there, you can consider checking out the Patreon to support the channel further. It is completely optional, but it does have a couple of cool perks. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a rating. Subscribe if you haven't already for more videos just like this, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace!